Hey, I can't talk to anyone here. I'll bet you that's Nick, who uh, works at the A&G Diner. Yeah, I can't talk to anybody. Oh well. Yep, that's him. <laughs> Wood paneling station wagon. Classy. Oh, I can actually talk to Polly, huh? Oh, hi. That's nice. Give me 16 bucks. Oh my god, everything's so choppy. Look at this. Hey there. Keith Richards. Sorry. Well, I can't get through there. Well, that's another nicer car. Of course. Alright. No one else showing up? Still got three more minutes before I can even go inside. I like how they're all... What the fuck is he doing? God, what a burnout. I bet you he, like, non-stop hears music playing. Like, anywhere he's at, he hears metal. Probably not even metal, just like... 80s rock. Alright, let's get in there. Any second now. exciting scene. Wow, I don't like the music's freezing up. That's a lot of people. Zach, I haven't been on stage like this since elementary school. I'm not some tree in the wind this time either. <laughs> that was a tough role. That was a piece of scenery. Bright red tree. coming today. And Thomas in the back, of Getting course. Getting right down to business. Agent Morgan from the Federal Bureau of Investigations wishes to speak with you. Good afternoon. I'm Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Some of you are already aware by now of the tragic murder of Anna Graham. Truly a heinous, terrible I've come to this town to solve the murder of this young, beautiful girl. And to bring the one responsible to justice. Unfortunately, incidents like these have a tendency to happen again. I ask to have you gathered here so I can share some advice in order to minimize the risk of further fatal incidents. I wish they made the voice a little bit louder here. Please, stay away from any dark, dangerous, isolated places. Those of you with children, especially of Anna's age, please guide your children away from such places at all costs. Secondly, Avoid going out when it is raining. Now I have heard the folklore 
to say to gather an entire town for. <laughs> this soundtrack brought to you by a dolphin getting raped. <laughs> I'm not going to try to make that noise again. It's... sins we must not frown. The loss of Anna was for that debt. I see an unclaimed cup of coffee. I think York will be jumping on that when we're done, if possible. When purple fog covers our town, we'll all wander in hell, I fruit. So says Mr. Stewart. Slow stare for both of them. I love it. Sure knows how to steal thunder. Well then, Zach, let's ask some questions before all these guys leave. Alright, what do we even have here? Time of death between 2000 and 2200. Can't read that because it's not very well wrote. <laughs> Agent Morgan, here's your chance to get to know some of the townsfolk. Don't let it go to waste. Very insightful. Thank you, George. All right, Tomas. Agent York, your words really made me think about Anna's death again. Well, we're How investigating her murder. You should be thing? thinking about it. I'm still in shock. I just get so frizzled in these Tops, situations. I forgot to ask. You don't have a tattoo on your back, do you? A uh, tattoo? Oh. I do, actually. But why? Could you show it to me, please? What? Now? Here? Yes, please. This is vital for our investigation. On stage, in front of everyone. Okay. If it's gonna help you any. I'm surprised he's, he doesn't like hide behind the curtain or anything. <sighs> well, I'm wondering who G is now, but aside from that... Did it tell you anything? It told me that you didn't kill Anna. Of course not! What are you saying? You want to see that tattoo, Zack? A big heart with an arrow through it and love G in the center. It stands for Karag, by the way. I don't know when he got that done, but we've all been through the 80s. 